swear I just had him out here an hour ago. Yeah, maybe. I saw that an hour ago too, but yeah, it was over here. Now we got some color. So, start to Saturday morning. What's it? Banging around. I know the cow feeders are empty, so maybe, maybe the tubs are getting empty and I totally spaced getting tubs this week. So, I guess we're going to do that next week. And get that unloaded today. Uh, the rakes are right there. They're just out of the truck. Put them put away after I move some stuff. Maybe get tired to start helping with some stuff. She's still getting better. So and somebody there just finally went number one and number two. So he can come back inside before he's in trouble out here. This red man doesn't like him picking on him this time of morning. There's the orb this morning. And oh, they're fashionably late. I already fed in that barn and they weren't in, so sucks to be them. And if I can get him, if I can, he's like, there he is. Put his regular collar on, a leash, and I fed the other dogs and carried him about 20 feet away and he's been walking with me good sense. Problem is he wants to try to rub right against me while we're walking. But those are all things they learn how to overcome. And then he stopped. Because they're over there barking. Anyway, we're going to go feed the steers. And then I don't know what we're going to do. The steers are already walking in to get fed. Someone is not where they belong. That's where they were probably going to get moved to here in a little bit, but that's not where they were supposed to be right now. Sorry about the shakiness, but I still have a leash wrapped around my right wrist and a puppy playing with it. Ah! Turkey butt! I was trying to unzoom. Anyway, I was going to show you there's, I don't know, three or four calves up there in the flat, in the lane. Those two are sparring. And everybody else made it up this far. So they'll come the rest of the way in. I can sneak out there and do that. And Oh yeah, the orb moved. It's getting higher. I haven't moved. I've been screwing around on my phone here for, I don't know, ten minutes. Five minutes. These guys are starting to stack up at the head gate wanting me to get my butt in here and feed them. So I better do that. Somebody's not sure about having that. He's been really good on it this morning. Oh, look who I found in here. My sapphire. And, oh, she moved. There we go. Good morning, Ruby. Eeyore's a loud mouth. Where's everybody else? Penelope right there. White girl. We're missing someone. Hmm. What'd you guys do with your boyfriend? Oh, wait. I think I found him. I think I found him. Did I? No? I look there was one laying there. Huh. But you girls better not have done something stupid to him. Like I said, hey, look, jump in the creek here where it's deep and it's full of stumps, something like that, you know. Bandit, I'll be just a moment. Patience. At least he's not tugging on the end of it. Always got to be a couple stupid ones. They already ran clear down to the gate like they were coming around it. They followed half a dozen of their friends and then they stopped and went the other way.
There we go. Then almost take it too wide right into the fence anyway. Oh, there he is. Now I'm going to see if I can get Grumpy there to help me get irrigation going this morning. That's probably going to be a losing proposition. Oh, and hey, thank you, Bryce Wilbert, for the nice video this morning. Wishing Becky and I a happy anniversary. Appreciate it. He's them again. Oh, we well, found Cowboy. And, yeah. Her, her lungs aren't used to fresh air, so she's hawking stuff up once in a while. There's a reflection for you. Kind of see her through the tree. And irrigation's going now after the cows are moved. Now I just got to convince her that we got to feed some bales. Because I don't do that one by myself. Well, there's the bottom of it. Obviously, you know, the rails. Where's my fat finger? The rails aren't overly heavy. Probably not hard material either. Well, a lot of Chinese stuff's a little harder because of what they used to make it out of, but uh, that may be getting improved a little bit there. We will see. I mean, shouldn't drag it on the ground anyway, realistically. Um, I was pleasantly surprised. Well, I shouldn't say surprised. Sorry, stir it there. Um, does have a set of blades on it, and it came with... If I can see, they're laying right there on the cart. Blades and hardware for them. So it's got spares. Um, the way they're made, they'll cut either direction, but I just don't see how, how you can make that work. Because if you turn it over, it ain't going to be there. <laughs> All you can do is go the other direction while running it, and it's got warnings on it. Do not run it reverse well which is reverse I don't know yet I'll see if I can figure that out look at that a pile of straps to put away somewhere and almost empty almost empty nice tires really would be nice if we still had the well, a local shop that used to recap, but, you know, DEQ got on him in the frickin' 70s, and he had everything done right. And they just decided that in order for him to stay in business where he was, they were going to, I mean, he couldn't make enough money in a year to pay what they wanted him to pay for permits. Anyway, no, it'd be nice to just get those capped. Um... They are eight hole case, just like those. Those are 1250, 16.5s. These are 1000 or 1050s. Yeah, 1000, 16.5. I'm gonna guess with these on that machine that the tracks fit, because that would put them at the same height and probably the same clearances. Just guessing. And I didn't realize they do have a link. That's your one adjuster. Otherwise, it's all rubber. And I have not found a brand name anywhere. You know, a lot of times they'll stamp it somewhere on the tread or on the side. There's nothing anywhere. I got that one out and tied up. I had to kind of drag it out. I couldn't lift high enough the way I had it. Tied this one while it was hanging and took the wire off that was on it. But I mean, you know, there's, oh, that pin's actually kind of tight. <laughs> Probably have to get driven out. There's no pin wire that I can see anywhere. There is a little wire on the inside, which is, you know, expected because they don't get much rubber on top of the metal pieces that are in there. And I have no idea what the joint is inside there. Yeah. It may just all be dependent on the rubber. I have no idea. But 
those other two tires will go on that ballot. I grabbed the extra just in case, but those two are really taking half of it. And I can go find a place to put them. But I'm going to grab some lunch first. Oh yeah, the rake's not there anymore either. Get it back there. And get those. I'm going to make somebody help me get those out of there. Because I'm kind of tired of climbing on and off. And I don't know that I can get those hooked and then make it back to the machine without them coming unhooked. And Bandit was out here for a little bit helping me. I had to go get Big Bill Twine from the garbage down there so I could tie those up. He, he was holding one end for me. Kept trying to take it all away from me, though. Hey, look, here's the top of it. <clears throat> 11 to 20 gallons per minute. Uh, if I remember right, this machine runs 12 gallons, but it might be a little higher. Don't quote me on that. I see uh, it's either missing or broke off. I watched a video. I googled this particular machine. <clears throat> uh, a lot of stuff says it's junk. A lot of stuff says it's all right. You know, typical. One, <clears throat> excuse me, one video kind of caught my eye. And I watched it. There's uh, the motor, the mount chain coupler in the middle and the gearbox um, the guy Ellis Wong Wong I, if I got it wrong sorry Canadian guy he's only got a few videos been doing it since 06 uh, <clears throat> he said he watched Diesel Creek apparently Diesel Creek got the same one I've watched his videos I haven't seen any oh, I haven't watched any for a while I know they're there he's always busy you can see the bracket. It's just an L bracket with a motor on it. And that's not enough. It lets the motor move, which screws up your coupler. So he welded a piece of angle iron across here and welded it to the bracket so it doesn't wiggle. That's kind of a dumb move on their part building it. It should be off of this and not off of this. It's advertised as all seven gauge, which isn't bad. I mean, you know, 10 gauge would be better. Of course, you know. That stuff's heavier. Radius on the tube. Well, actually, it's not. That's not a tube. It's open. It's a form channel. So it could be seven gauge. I don't know. I'm not gonna dig into it to find out. The other thing Ellis said in his video was the blades aren't heavy enough, and within a couple hours they were both off. Or at least one of them flown off. Are they heavy enough? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, we do have a good heavy centerpiece. Everything seems to be solid. Everything seems to be tightened up good. Haven't found anything that isn't quite right. Blades swing pretty good. That all looks good to me. You know, like I say, it ain't running yet. The skids, that ain't enough. That needs something there. I'm not sure what I'm going to put there. Really, it doesn't need a full length. It mainly needs at each end, as long as you're tapered good. And if you don't drag it on the ground, that's not an issue. You know, cheap stickers. I stuck them back on just because. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to pull that off. Those stickers on good. That one's there. Now it's on good. That one's on pretty good. Um, yeah, so I don't know. We'll see what we come up with. But you know, for $1,000, plus, of course, the freaking buyer's fee, um, I'm not going to complain because I can work with this. And I did look up the exact same one. Uh, they are from 3000 to $6,000 online no matter where you look so like i said for a thousand bucks i'm not going to complain and for a thousand dollars i can put a little time into where it might need it and i got to figure what they got for couplers because i have not taken them apart yet um, the other thing it didn't say it for this particular 
one, but Google online crap, you know. Um, what direction does a brush cutter rotate? And a lot of things like, why does it rotate counterclockwise? And the answers to these things are, well, if you're underneath it looking up, it rotates clockwise. Not this one. Not the way the blades are twisted. Let's see if we can... See? That blade's got to go that way to cut. And, and, and if I look at my watch, huh, that'd be clockwise. So... I say we'll see, and I'm not. I don't. I'm not going to cut, you know, freaking brush and shit with it. The biggest thing is going to be blackberries and that kind of crap on the edge of a field. Maybe a few suckers that are, you know, size of your thumb or so. The kind of stuff that, unless you chop it up first, it doesn't work in. And the kind of stuff that's kind of hard to drive a tractor head on into because it's ten feet tall and, you know, so. That's my thing with this at the moment. I'm going to fire it up and set it down and go feed and call it a day. So there it is. Like I said, I mean, you know, not that you see the oil's all perfect because it's painted, but yeah, that could have used a little more filler there, but it's stuck. Can't get inside it because it boxed it in, which is probably a good thing. It needs to be boxed and this is heavier. That's over eighth inch because there's an eighth inch right there showing. So it's probably three sixteenths, which is probably what those are. They don't sound that light, but all this is seven gauge. You know, they advertise it that way. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you all had a good Saturday. Hope everybody has a great Sunday. And I don't know what the hell it's gonna do. The wind keeps coming up like it's going to bring some clouds in and start raining, and then it kind of clears off again. Oh, yeah, I got to go put that away, too. I had to move that so I could get to that cheap blade that we bought because my adapters were on it. Needed those. Anyway, 